All right, guys, listen, come in, sit down, we got to talk. Obviously, I'm going through a lot of personal stuff. If you guys don't know about it, uh, recently my Gucci necklace broke. I know a lot of people would take time off for personal reasons, but um, I just kind of, you know, I just kind of want to keep going. I think this is just a good lesson for me. Not everything in life goes your way. I have attempted to replace my Gucci necklace with the, uh, the world's thinnest chain. <laughs> this is not real golds. Not that I needed to say that. I think everyone just kind of assumes I don't make enough money to afford anything real, like a personality. <laughs> I'm also trying this out, huh? I don't want to give Kennedy any credit, but if you watch the makeover video, I, I feel like I look good with piercings. I'm just going to roll with it, and then maybe we make it official if I, if I like it. Or maybe I just grow out of the style in two weeks, which is probably what's going to happen. This video, of course, we're talking about Love Island. Now, I almost made a video about a Netflix reality TV dating show called Sexy Beasts. Now, this show is begging to be commentaried. I could just see it. In the concepting for the show, they know what we do on YouTube. You think Netflix isn't aware? They want people talking about their shows because the more press and publicity it gets, the more people watch it, the more money it makes, the more seasons it gets. So naturally, I was intrigued. I'm sure other people that do reality TV show commentaries are also intrigued by it. I'm talking Cody Coe's, I'm talking Jarvis Johnson's. I feel like Netflix is aiming for us to make commentaries about their dumbass fucking insect show. But the show sucks. The sh spoiler alert, the show is awful. First of all, it's like 20 minutes long and they spend the majority of the time doing interviews and the reveals. There's not like almost any substance to any of the dates and you never form any connection with any of the people. So if you don't care about the people, you don't care about the outcomes. Also in the first episode, this hot girl picked this fucking weird ass looking dude. All he talked about during the first date was about us having sweats. What's well, like the craziest place you've ever had sex? And the things that like turned him on. What you said about me, I was like, ooh, I thought it was pretty hot. And then he comes out at the end revealing his face and he looks like a fuckboy Jesus. He looks like if Jesus came back to life now in like modern society, but he was just like pissed at his dad, God, and he's like, dad, shut, I'm not, no, I'm gonna do my own thing. And this is what he would be. He would be this guy. So let's talk about this other show called Love Island. And not the good version. Let's talk about the USA version. Just like when you watch like a, another country's version of their own original reality TV show, it's always like a knockoff and they never get the things right. For example, the narrator on Love Island does a good job like poking fun at the contestants in the show. Laura started with Alex, then moved on to Wes, and now she fancies Adam. Typical air stewardess, very flighty. Because the Love Island UK knows that the audience watching is ashamed of themselves for watching, and like, we're just gonna acknowledge it. That's their thought process. But with America, they try for this like, sassy wit, and it's awful every of the time. Single every single of the, every time of the singles. That's the villa. This wise investment comes with a 30 foot slide we've nicknamed lawsuit waiting to happen. It's a, it's a slide. It's just a water slide. It's not dangerous. I, that is the worst joke. Oh, it's not though. I've watched this whole episode. It's not the worst joke. It's not even funny either. Like, God, take the opportunities to poke fun at yourself. It makes you so much more enjoyable and likable if you just make fun of yourself once in a while so that everyone knows they don't have to take you serious. That's not why I make fun of myself. I make fun of myself not to be likable, but more so just because I hate myself and I want to verbalize it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. You know what, let's just get to watching the show, okay? Woo! They are looking it's time for you guys to meet this year's Islanders. Where am I snorkeled at? Ah, that was such a Lele Pons level joke. <laughs> this girl might have used to have made videos with Lele Pons. I could be wrong about that, but I think this, this host is a social media girl. Oh, he's dead. He's doing the thing. He did the thing where he's like literally dead. Where am I snorkeled at? Where am I snorkeled at? <laughs> I shouldn't be making fun of her. I just see the Lele Pons inspiration in her content and in her, in her hosting and it makes me wanna die. But if you think she's cringy, I'm sitting here 30 years old with a uh, fake nose ring in, so who's the real loser here? And here they are. His name's Cinco? Like the number five in French? 
Let's meet the girls! I, I'm a little bit embarrassed for the voice actor because I don't think this is all him. Let's meet the girls! I feel like he's just in the booth doing his lines and he's like, let's meet the girls. He's like, let's meet the girls. And then the director's like, no, 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 no. Can he add some cringe to that? Let's meet the girls! Nope. Up the cringe. Let's meet the girls! Let's meet the girls! What was your name, by the way? Oh, oh my god, yeah, sorry, I'm Cash. Cash? What's your name? Cash? Oh, that's so weird. My name's Credit. I have crazy commitment issues. I'm surprised you can't smell that off me right now. I'm just waiting for someone who's worth it. Hello! Yeah, what's your name? My name is Kira. What's her name? Kiraga Shnaga? <laughs> you didn't watch my Atlantis commentary, you're missing out. Kirama Shnaga. I'm from Hawaii. I'm Hawaii. from Honolulu. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God. Aloha. Beautiful. You guys look amazing. It's so interesting watching a group of girls who don't know each other meet each other for the first time. The compliments fly. Oh, you look so good. You, you look, look so beautiful. cute. Oh my god, Thank you want you your name? Yeah. You look so good. Yeah. What's your name? Gorgeous. You guys look amazing. The sexy women are here. It's just fascinating to watch. But like if a bunch of dudes get together, it's like, what's up, bro? Handshake. What's up? Yeah. Zodiac sign, guys. Oh, I mean, girl. Wait, wait, let's guess. Just, let's guess yours. Okay. okay. <laughs> let's guess Zodiac signs. <laughs> Alright, so here's how the format of Love Island works if you're unfamiliar. The first five girls are introduced and they're all in a line. Then the guys come out one at a time. The host says, girls, if you're interested in this guy, step forward. Now the guy could choose any girl he wants to partner up with, but obviously he wants to partner up with someone that likes him. That's preferable. And if no one steps forward, if Corey is your type, please step forward. Then we all just sink into like this really uncomfortable silence. <laughs> ah, ladies, hello. Uh -huh. In that uncomfortable silence gives me life. I love hot people being put in their place. He's very attractive, but there's just something about him. I don't know, like- You deserve it. Well, you don't deserve it. But like, I just like seeing hot people get rejected. Is that harsh? No, it's not, right? Fuck them. Are you ready to meet the boys? Yes! yes. Oh let's do it! Love Island, baby! Let's Game day, this. let's go! To the next, let's- You think? What do you- Let's just take a poll right now. How many of you like this guy? Game day, baby, let's go! <laughs> Pink slatted shades. Yup, yup, yup. I'm Josh. I'm 24 years old, and I'm a college baseball player. 24? Don't don't most people graduate college at like 22? It don't matter if you're a bench warmer or the starting pitcher. The ladies just flock to you. Dream. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> no sports starter in the history of starters has ever said it doesn't matter if you're a starter or a bench warmer. If you ask a starter, hey, are you a starter? They say yes. If you ask a bench player if they're a starter, they say, well, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Like, we're all part of the team. No, bitch. You're on the bench. You don't count. He's a 24-year-old bench player in college. Dog, you should you should be graduated. You're a super duper senior. I'm trying to find my permanent teammate. My shortstop to my second base right there. Oh, God, I can't. I can't with sports metaphors. My permanent teammate. My shortstop to my second baseman. My center to my point guard. My receiver to my quarterback. My hockey goalie to my hockey other fucking other player. It's just so, it hurts me. I don't know why that hurts me so bad. It hurts me though. Why does this tickle so bad? How do you, does that go away? All right, so now we get to find out if any of the girls are gonna stonewall him or if any girls that are interested in him sexually, they're gonna step forward. Let's find out what they do. Love Island is all about finding your perfect match. Who do you want to be your partner in crime? Uh, excuse me, I'm not looking for my partner in crime. I'm looking for my second baseman to my shortstop, my permanent teammates. If Josh is your type, please step forward. Ah, this is no fun. He got three of the five people stepping forward. That's no fun. I want to see some rejection, ladies. Let's move on. I don't care. Who does he partner up with? Who cares? Well, who do you think he would partner up with? Let's see. All-American jock. Well, I, we can't really call him a jock because he's a backup. All-American backup jock. Who do you think he would pick? But I can't keep my eyes off Shannon, honestly. Oh, the blonde bombshell? Hmm. I bet 90% of you guessed right. It's the blonde girl. All right, second guy. This guy's name is Corey with the K. And an E. Let's see if anyone steps forward for him. If Corey is your type, please step forward. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Let's sit in the cringe. <laughs> you are so attractive, but you look like you're gonna break my heart. I promise I won't. I'll save it, keep it. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. That's what that's kind of adorable. Alright, well, Corey, you can pick any of the ladies, even if they're in a couple. Oh, this is the best part! 
This is the best part, is when no girl steps forward for him, he has to choose someone who just rejected him to partner up with. How fun is this? Because all the girls are sitting there like, no, please not me, please not me, please not me, not me, please. And then when they're picked, they have to act like, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm super glad that, that he chose me. So Kira, you didn't step forward, but you got Corey. How are you feeling? He's so handsome. Honestly, I didn't want him, but thank you. I've had my fun in the past. I've slept with 99 different girls. <sighs> Nothing worse than count the number of girls you slept with guy. That guy is just the worst. I slept with 99. Why would you just not say 100? Why, you just can't round it? You have to have an exact number in your head. That's embarrassing. Like you're counting them. Oh, fuck. They leave and he just like scratches another one on his wall. Like who steps forward for him? Let's get some more suspense music. Time to step forward if you like Christian. Oof, bro, it's all good. <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. <laughs> you think I care? You think me looking at me? You think I care? <laughs> Why would I care? Cash, what about you? Why didn't you step forward? I think I'm a really muscular girl and it just makes me nervous because he's kind of skinny. Is he skinny? Don't tell me he's skinny. He's like 190. I guess maybe if you like bigger guys. But just because you like bigger guys doesn't mean he's skinny. I'm offended because if he's skinny, I am fucking malnourished. I mean, he has beautiful eyes. I just haven't dated a blonde since like high school. Yeah, he's not He's not blonde. He just has blonde dyed hair. If you dye your hair, are you no longer a blonde? Like if you're gonna I identify somebody as a blonde, then that has to be their natural hair color, right? The man himself is not blonde. Am I crazy here? I think I might be. I think I'm sounding stupid, which I guess just makes this a Dylan is in trouble video. Like nothing has changed from the rest of my commentary here. <laughs> it's all stupid. It's okay. Now let's watch as this man chooses a girl who does not want him and that girl pretend like she's wanted him the whole time. Who would you like to couple up with? Let's go with Blue. Trina. Oh, she's the type that really can't hide it from her face either. She's like, oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's so happy. I'm so excited. Yes, it's fun to get together. Yay. What is it about Trina that caught your eye? Like she knows what she's looking for and- Did you just say she knows what she's looking for? That's what attracted you to her? Her to you? You to her, you're, yes. Attracted you to her, correct. But then we also have to acknowledge she didn't choose you. I feel like we have a little bit of a conundrum here, sir. So this next guy, he's got good energy. He comes in off the slide. So instead of just running up being like, hello ladies, he's like, I'm gonna go off the slide first, goes on the slide, dries himself off and he's like, Sup, fucking ladies. So now let's see if any of these girls respond to his good vibes. Let's see. Step forward if you're attracted to Giovanni. Oh, come <laughs> on. So he chooses uh, this girl here, and then they get partnered up, and she's like, oh, well, this is exciting. I love being partnered up with someone I don't like. So, Olivia, you didn't step forward for Giovanni, but yes. how are you feeling? I'm happy. Honestly, I was, like, this close. But what's fun is this last guy. And let me preface this by saying that this is the last guy, so all the options are out. So any of these girls that are partnered up with somebody already that they're not happy with, they are going to step forward if they like this guy a little bit better. This could be interesting. What's up, ladies? How you doing? The girls step forward if Jeremy has caught your eye. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so imagine this. You're a guy who selected one of these girls against her will. After she made it known that she did not want you. Now, she says, I would much rather have that person, this new guy, than you after you selected me. I would bend over and vomit all over the floor. I would be so embarrassed. I would go home. Seeing as you're the last guy and Cache is the last girl, that automatically makes you our final couple. Cache, <laughs> how you feeling? No, we're good. He's super handsome. We just gotta like get some meat on his bone. <laughs> this man's just catching strays. First of all, the girl is like, yeah, he's too skinny. So he's just sitting there like with the shirt off, short shorts on, just sitting there like, oh great, now I gotta sit here worried about my weight being too thin. And then he picks a girl that doesn't want him. The girl that he picks steps out and says, I want another guy more. And then he goes back to the girl that called him skinny. And she's like, yeah, he's just skinny. This man, cut him a check. Cut him a check from emotional distress. This is horrible. So now that everybody's paired up and had a conversation, uh, it is now time to ruin everything. <laughs> By introducing two new guys who, in my opinion, are probably like better than everyone else so far, which is perfect. You want to save like your best two because a lot of the girls are going to want him. So they're going to pair up with their first person, be like, I'm attracted to you. But then you put more attractive people in 
and then it just stirs the pot because it's like, well, I, I've spent a couple hours with this person. Is it is it too late to jump ship? Is it too soon to jump ship? I don't know. That's how Love Island gets you. It's just a constant influx of new people. The people that suck are just like the couples that get together early on and just stay together. I think once you couple up for a fair amount of time, you gotta be kicked out. <laughs> get him out! I'm Will, I'm 26 years old. I'm the sexiest Latin lover you have ever met. Hey, what the fuck? This guy's got a thin chain and a nose ring too. Will, my brother. Did your Gucci necklace break too? So the third episode, it gets interesting. And yes, I watched the second episode of the third episode, but I did that for you. That wasn't for me. Like I it was just specifically for the video. I didn't watch it because I was enjoying it. I did it for you. The third episode was juicy. So these two go on a date, Jeremy and Kira. I can't believe I remember their names. Holy shit, it's a miracle. So they go on a private date. And she asks him, like, I live on one coast, you live on another coast. How would you even feel about, like, doing long distance? I'm super open, but I feel like it's hard for me to, like, jump back into something super serious. And he's basically like, probably not. But we'll just take it day by day. I mean, like, we have to take it day by day and see right. how everything happens. She interprets that as, yeah, I think we can make this work. And what he was intending to say was, that's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of difficult. Let's just keep our space for now. And all of that is highlighted because when they come back from their dates, I just love this. Like the guys get together and the girls get together and they just kind of hash it out. Story time. But when the guys get together and the girls get together and she's just like, oh, I think, I think we're a match made in heaven. I don't know what would make me feel like, oh, let me go for this guy instead of like sticking with Jeremy. And we're going to get along so well. She's talking about like not even looking at other guys. I can see myself yeah. falling for him. If there's other girls that come in that I'm like super attracted to, I'm going to talk to them. Right. He even said that he's willing like to do long distance. I told her like I'm not looking to get into like a super serious like distance relationship. It's just so beautiful. These shows are at their best when there's drama and turmoil. Like I said, when people get into relationships and they're solid, it just gets boring and they need to leave. I am cheering for a relationship upheaval. And don't feel bad for these people. These people are on an all expense paid vacation in Hawaii in this beautiful house and they're incentivized to make out and hook up with other contestants. Like, it's just like the dream life for them. So what? They get their emotions hurt a little bit. They get over it. We got to cheer. We got to put that energy out into the universe that these contestants have a lot of turmoil in their relationships. We got to cheer for it. We got to love it. <laughs> I am the least supportive person ever. I'm like, oh, you're in a relationship? Gross. Break up with that person. <laughs> I'm going to be entirely honest, though. I came in to roast the living hell out of this show and just to make fun of it time after time after time. But I was entertained. It's pretty good. So I'm, I'm actually entertained by this show. I fucking hate myself. We've covered this though. I am ashamed, but I'm also not ashamed because I've, I've accepted who I am. And I'm a piece of shit. I used to be a piece of shit with nice jewelry. Now I'm a broken man. So I really don't have anything going for me. Well, this has been fun. Thanks for watching. Toodles.